Hey guys, we've uh, I'm getting a, another one of my little Id ideas and brainstorm on something. Um, we've all experienced this. Trying to get these things separated and keep them from the bug net off of our face while we're sleeping in our hammock or just lying in there enjoying some relaxed time. I'm gonna I've got an idea where I'm gonna put some spreader bars in this thing, but I'm gonna put some spreader bars that are gonna stay in it, not uh, like the sticks we stick in here that we poke underneath this thing here and roll around inside next thing you'll get it falling off. No, these are going to stay, what I'm going to do. So I'm going to give it a try and I uh, will kind of take you along in the journey as I develop. And it shouldn't take too long to do. These things are very simple what I'm going to do and very cheap, very inexpensive. But I'll get back to you with uh, some more of it as soon as I get started. Here's what we're going to try to do here with this. I've made one of these already. And I will actually be sewing a pocket in this area here. I'm not sure if I'm just going to sew it here and put it at an angle and have the stick come into it. Or whether I'm going to go with a full 90 degree like this and have it sewed across here and up in here. So it creates a pocket right there. That'll have to deal with. I'll try the first one, the one pocket, the short one, and then if that doesn't work, then I'll add, the, add them to it. Cut these to length. They're about uh, four inches long. Then I've got uh, the stuff for the grommets. I've got the kit for it. And we're going to take it over here to the uh, anvil, and I will be punching the holes in this. And I'll be ready to get the four of these done. And then what we will do is on two of them, we're going to have a seam here and here, and the other two on the other side. And then we'll put them on there. And you kind of expect like a little pocket to be right like this. I think this is going to work just fine. If it doesn't, I can always add another one here, another seam across here, and then come in like this with it. But I, I really do believe that this is going to be just fine, just the one seam on each side of those. And that'll take care of that. And then we're going to see how it works. Hold on. There you go. Hold on. Go ahead. Well, here they are. <clears throat> they're in here and they're working fine. Nice fit. Fit snug. Got a 17 inch, I think this this, this uh, pole is. And it's just the old uh, tent poles. Ours comes apart here in folds in the middle, but you can use pretty much anything you want. You can put a stick in it if you want. On the end we have a uh, little rubber boot on it. The type you would find in an automobile, in a vacuum tree or something like that, that will uh, give us a little bit of friction here. It's rubberized so it, it kind of holds under. Holds up nice though. And as you can look down the hammock here you can see how it's going to stay separated. I'm fairly pleased with it and I think you folks will be too if you want to make some. Well folks, did I screw up. I uh, started editing this thing and then I realized that uh, it's kind of like telling the kids you're going to take them to the candy shop and then not taking them. Um, get this thing all done and didn't get inside to show you what it's like inside. I know that it's one of the first things I would want to know. Okay, what's it like inside there? Because that's what we're ultimately doing here. So let me uh, click this thing off a second and I'll restart the camera once I'm inside. All right, I'm inside now. And it looks like it's a success. Bugnet is quite high up there. It's probably a good 10 inches above me in my head here. I can stand plenty, uh, plenty high off of me. No, none of this stuff hanging in the middle here came down on you. You can actually get a nice comfortable eye in this thing now and not have to worry about the bugs. So, looks like we got it go, got it wired here for about six or seven dollars. Uh, should be an easy make for anybody to do. Just a little sewing skills with a machine. If you can't do that, you can always hand sew the thing. That's what I was going to do if the wife couldn't do it. I gave it a try at first, and I ruined her sewing machine. <laughs> I don't know what I did wrong, but I can fix that darn thing, but I can't operate it. So anyhow, thanks for watching the video. 
come back and visit again in the future. And until next time, be safe.